Short offers are for inexpensive or cheap products. It's for an ebook. It's for an audiobook. It's for something under a hundred bucks. Now, short offers have their place because I use them all of the time. I'll, if I have something that I know that's going to be like super economical, I'll do a short offer. It's not a lot of hype. It's just like, this is what it is. This is how much it is. And click this button and get it. And they do very, very well. But I'm transitioning my business from short offers. Now, this isn't a step that you should leap over because I know you want to make money. Let's talk about short offers. Let's talk about crafting a short offer. Short offers have their place and I use them all of the time. A short offer is best for a product that's under a hundred bucks. Um, really cheap stuff, eBooks, audiobooks, anything that you can sell for under hundred bucks, uh, the cheaper, the better for it to convert. Now, what a short offer does is it opens the door. This is why they're very powerful and this isn't why you should skip over them. You should use short offers, especially in the beginning, because they fit very well with your direct response marketing efforts. How do you construct a short offer? And it's super easy. You put what it is, how much it is in a link. That's it. Now, a short offer should convey a lot of information through the title, the subject matter, and they should be able to decipher if they want to throw away some money on this. Short offers do not convert as well as long offers. They just don't. You can get, they don't convert as well. They don't convert as profitably unless you just have a huge list and you're just sending out some stuff. Short offers have their place. They're great for getting you started and you should make a lot of them because one word can make the difference between it converting or not. So you don't have a lot of room. You don't want your offer to exceed maybe 100 to 250 words. You want to keep it real short. This is what it is. This is what you get. Bam, 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 and send it out because you're focusing on the price. That's what's the big deal. So $9.99, 15 bucks, 25 bucks, you can convert them really well. Now, here's something else you should know. If your offer is not sophisticated, you could alienate some members in your audience. Let's say you've been internet marketing two, three years, and you've got some players in your audience, and you put out a $25 ebook. Well, some of these people may feel like that's beneath you, and then they will lose respect for you. So you, you got to be really careful with the short offers and the inexpensive offers, because if you're building up a book of business, and let's say 30 to 40% of your audience will buy your higher price stuff. You really gotta be careful with the short offers. S list segmentation is very, very important. I'll let you know how I do it. I have the text notification list. I have the Gumroad uh, sales list and I'm creating a new email account. Now, the new email blast list is very, very young and it's not a lot of people on there, but the people who are on there probably will convert. I haven't sent an email, but let me tell you, my best situation is the text notification squad. It's the most responsive list. It's the most profitable list. There's 424 people on that list. It's not very big. I figure by the time I get to 2000, it will be crazy. And then the Gumroad list. And it's something that I just play around with. But the Gumroad list actually is yielding a lot of money because I just send them short offers. Uh, most of the products on Gumroad are very cheap. Um, they're under a hundred bucks or they will be. And I am selling something on Gumroad every day. It's not a lot to write home about, but it's 40, 50, $60, maybe $70. I'm developing leads from those sales and I'm actually creating a funnel because when I send out an offer, it usually converts unless it's just garbage. I sent out one offer this morning. It was garbage. I was just testing to see what would happen. It didn't convert. But once again, these are people who are positioned for cheaper products. There's probably, and this is something else you should do if your audience is conditioned for cheaper products. You should blast out a high ticket, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 offer because you never know who's in that audience and they can really convert like crazy. But short offers, down and dirty, 
This is what it is. This is how much it is. Less than 200 words and you're in the house.